Hi, my name is Kalyani and I'm from Acute Data Systems. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a receipt of invoice for purchase order. We'll be covering the following topics. Create receipt of invoice, update the receipt of invoice register, and verify the entry in vendor maintenance. Let's take a look. You have received an invoice from your vendor. There is a possibility that you received just the goods from them earlier or you would receive the goods from them later on. Either case, we need to document the invoice received from the vendor into the system. So in order to record the receipt of invoice in purchase order, we'll go in the main folder and receipt of invoice entry task. We'll select the next batch number and click on accept. This is the receipt of invoice entry window. We'll click on the next receipt number and we'll look up for the purchase order number for whom we received the invoice from. So we had placed an order with the vendor Stevens Supply and we have received an invoice from them. So let's select it. The invoice number that was mentioned was 8980. And you can now see all the information regarding this vendor Stevens Supply. In the address tab, you can see the purchase address and the ship to address. We don't want to make any changes in this tab, so we leave it as it is. Let's go to the lines tab. When you go to the lines tab, you have this prompt which asks you if you want to invoice the complete purchase order. So you can click on yes in order to flag all the items invoiced on the complete purchase order. So this is what we see. This is the item code Chrome kit. You have the ordered quantities which were two, the invoiced quantities were two, and the unit cost is 300 and the total amount comes up to $600. The total tab gives you the review of what the purchase order was and the total amount for the invoice. If everything looks fine, we can go ahead and click on accept. Now let's go ahead and post this invoice. In order to post this invoice, we'll click on the printer icon to the bottom right hand side. We'll click on the batch that we want to print and click on proceed. We'll make sure that the general ledger period and the purchase order posting date match and let's preview the daily receipt registers. So this is the receipt of invoice register which gives you the information about the item code, the purchase order number, the vendor and the quantities that were ordered, received and invoiced. This is another report that is a daily purchase journal and this is the tax journal summary. You can review these reports for accuracy. So do you want to print and update the daily receipt registers? You should go ahead and click on yes. So this is how you have entered the receipt of invoice and PO and updated it. Now in order to verify this update, we will go to accounts payable module. And in the main folder, we'll go in vendor maintenance. In vendor maintenance, we'll look up for the vendor Stevens Supply for whom we recorded this receipt of invoice. And we'll go in the invoices tab. So over here in the invoices tab, you can see the purchase order uh, that we that Stevens Supply had placed. And this is the invoice number that we received from them. And this is the balance that they owe and the invoice date when the invoice was placed. So this is how you receive the invoice of goods for any vendor in purchase order and verify that in vendor maintenance. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.